Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, January 30th, 2015. This week, working with blendable layers in Photoshop and Elements, Part 1. Katie Pertit has an innovative product line called Blendable Layers. These beautiful papers come as a set of PNG images that can be layered to create a paper like the preview or they can be customized to your liking. These are a great buy since you can use each of the layers separately on a different project or you can mix and match them to create something completely unique. In the next few segments, I'll be demonstrating ways to use and customize the blendable layers. Using these basic techniques and adding your own creative twist, you'll create digital photo art that you'll enjoy for years to come. In this segment, I'll show you how to take the first step by loading the PNG overlays into one document in Photoshop and then I'll show you how to do it in Elements. The full version of Photoshop has a script that makes stacking the images a super easy task. From the menu bar, choose File, Scripts, Load Files into Stack. This opens the Load Layers dialog box. Choose Use Files and then click Browse. Use the address bar at the top of the next screen to search your computer for the folder containing the blendable layer that you're using. Click the last stackable layer. This is usually labeled base. It's the base paper and it's going to be the bottom layer. Holding the shift key, then click the first layer. This will load the layers in order so that the base is at the bottom and the layers will build upward to the top. Click OK and then click OK again. Sit back and watch as the software loads each layer into the new document. When it's complete, you'll have the layers in order from layer number one all the way down to the bottom, which is the base layer. Because Photoshop Elements doesn't come with this script, the process will be a little different. Begin by opening the bottom layer, usually called Base, by choosing File, Open, and then using the Look In box here to choose the folder that contains the blendable layer that you're planning to use. Click the Base Layer image and click Open. Next, choose File, Place. Select the layer that is next to the base layer. So it's the next in order, usually to the left. Click Place. This loads the image onto the base. You can either tick the green check mark here or you can hit Enter on your keyboard to complete the placement. Choose File, Place again, and choose the next one to the left or the next one up and click Place. This will load the next layer. Repeat the process until you have finished placing all of the layers in the document. When you've built up the paper, choose File, Save As, and give your document a new name, and then click Save. With the images loaded into one document like this, you can begin customizing your composite to make it your own. In the next tip, we'll explore a few techniques for personalizing your blendable layer. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next Designer Digital's tip.